Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how to download WeChat onto your computer, regardless if you have a Windows operating system or a Mac OS. And it's pretty easy to do. And it's basically a new process than it was like last year. Uh, last year was a little bit different. And this year, there's like a, some of the steps are a little bit different than it was uh, previously. And so what we need to do is uh, we need to download a Android emulator. We'll download BlueStacks. And then after you download BlueStacks, what you have to do is um, we have to um, enable Google Play, the Google Play Store. And in this way, we can download uh, WeChat or um, any other apps from Google Play that you want to download onto your computer. So why don't we go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is download BlueStacks, which is the Android emulator. Go to bluestacks.com. I'll have everything below in the details section. Now when you go to this page, if you have a Windows-based system, if you have a Windows 7, Windows 8, uh, XP or Vista, you want to click here. If you have a Mac OS, a Mac operating system, you click over here. So I have a Windows 7, so I'm going to click over here. And I'm going to wait for this to download. It's going to take about five minutes to download. Okay, so when it's done downloading, you want to open up, open it up, and you want to go ahead and run it. And we're going to install this BlueStacks. Give it a second here, and this window will pop up here on the bottom right hand corner. It says continue. Click on continue. Now look on here, okay? What you want to do is, uh, you don't need this very bottom one down here. It says subscribe to Spotlight, one free app daily. Uncheck that, it's not needed, and you it, it'll install a lot faster. Click on install. And what we want to do here is we want to wait five minutes or so. And then you'll get this that'll pop up. Now it's loading. Give it another few more minutes. Okay, great. Now this will pop up. Okay. Okay, so from here we have to do two more things. We have to do two things in order to get the Google Play store up and running. So this is what we do, okay? Go ahead up here and click on search. Just tap it once. And then from here, just type in anything. Just type in something. It doesn't matter because Google Play, there's no Google Play in here anyway. So. Now it says search play for whatever you put up there. Just click on that. And it says market finder, market not found, search web for installation, recipe, yes. Click on OK. And now what we're doing now is we're downloading an APK file. And if you look down here in the bottom right hand side, you'll have this little down arrow. Click on that. And you can see that this uh, it's an APK file. And it's an mpi.v23. And I think this will probably take about maybe three minutes or so. And you can see now Android is upgrading. So give this about three minutes. Okay, this is just about done. And you can just play around with it. You can like <clears throat> click on the down, that down arrow, and it's back here. If you want to take a look at it again, just click on that down arrow again. And you can see where just about there and on the blue stack screen this is the home button you can see the back button here okay it looks like we're done now we need to do the same thing again okay go back up here in the top left hand corner and click on search it's, just, it's one click for this whole entire application up here again just type in whatever and then we'll type it we'll click on search play for whatever okay so now here's the two steps we need to complete okay and first thing we're going to do is we have to enable the app store and the second thing is uh, enable the app sync so I'm gonna push on continue and then from here it says add a Google account add a Gmail account and you can put in your existing or you can put in the new I'm gonna put in an existing one and I'm going to put it on pause here. <clears throat> okay, and once you put your uh, username and your password, you want to click on sign in down here. 
and this is going to take like five seconds. Okay, there we go. Now this page pops up here, backup and restore, and it says here, uh, keep this backed up with my Google account. It doesn't matter, you can just leave it checked and then click on next. Okay, and there you go. Now the app store is enabled. Now the last thing we need to do is enable the app sync. So we're gonna click on continue. Okay, so if, now this will pop up, enable app sync, and my I'm covering my email address. But what we have to do from here is just put in your password and click sign in. And then you have this message that will pop up. Do you want your browser to remember your, this password? I always click never. You can pick it whatever you want. Let it log in. Okay, great. Now both of the steps are done. Now you want to click on let's go. Then you'll get this message that pops up. You have to agree to the terms of the Google Play Store. I will leave this unchecked. I don't care about keeping up to date with news and offers. And then you click on accept. And here we go. Now we officially have uh, BlueStacks installed on the computer as well as Google Play is finally enabled. So you can see even on the top right hand corner, we can click on that and we can see we can do a search Google Play. Okay, so now you guys are ready to download uh, WeChat from Google Play Store. So what you want to do is click on your search button. Maybe it's up here or mine's right here. And you just simply just type in WeChat. And then uh, I already have mine installed, so um, it, you're, you're not going to have one here. But what you want to do is you want to click on here, search for Play Store. Or search play. Now the thing is, like, take note, okay? If you guys don't have WeChat in here, it's probably it's because um, you're probably in a country that doesn't allow it to download. But what you can do is download the APK pack directly onto your computer, and it'll and it'll, it'll go directly into BlueStacks, and you'll have it that way as well. But this is the one that you want. It's the first one. And just remember, if you have a bunch of WeChat stuff on here, it's this one here. It's basically it says uh, WeChat, and it's uh, Tencent Technology, Tencent Technology, and it says Shenzhen here. So it's the first one that you want to uh, just click on that and you click on a install, just like your uh, your phone. And then let me just go back and I'll show you what you can do too also. Uh, this is this is your home page here. See, I'm clicking home page. This is your home page here. And if you wanted to um, uninstall an app, you just go to settings. And it looks just like your phone, okay? So let me zoom in. So, I mean, if you want to uninstall something, just click on apps. And then here you can just look for... Go to download, and then you can uninstall whatever you want on here. Uh, so, for instance, uh, like we'll go to uh, let me go to downloads, and then if you wanted to uninstall WeChat, it's right here. Just click it, and exactly like your. Um, your Android phone. So if you guys have any questions or anything, comment below. Any likes and subscriptions would be great too. Thanks and have a good day. Bye.